hello family welcome back to my channel today is sunday and we are going down the nigerian style banga soup route stay tuned to see how i make it let's have a look at all the ingredients here listed i will be mentioning them as i go along and i have prepped everything just before i start to make my cooking easy and simple as always so if you watch my previous video of me extracting my palm juice and freezing it this is it i'm going to defrost that and place it in my pan here i am doing this on a very low heat i don't want it to boil and once that is done i'm going to set it aside so that all the black particles stays underneath now if you watch my extraction video i literally uh, sifted every particle out but there are still the black ones the tiny one that goes through the sieve and it's best to do it this way let it settle then you transfer it into another pan okay to avoid all these ones right here which aren't good for you for going into your soup once that is done i'm going to go ahead and add my fresh tomatoes ginger and onion I'm going to bring this to a boil on a medium heat for about 30 minutes or until the oil starts to surface okay like i said in my previous video i hated making palm nut soup because i found it really messy but actually it's not it's super easy if you actually prep everything you need before you start making your soup so guys after 30 minutes this is how it's looking all the onions and um the tomato has softened i'm going to be removing that and blend it then transfer it back into my pot of soup now i'm going to go ahead and add my dry fish the pomo aka cow skin goat meat and the shaki which is also known as stripe and as part of making this soup super quick i have pre-cooked my meat as well so do steam it with your favorite spices and herbs before i'm hand. giving that a quick set to combine and then i'm going to go ahead and add the blended onion tomato and ginger okay i'm adding that and i'm going to add all my spices as well so my no cube crayfish local beans literally every spices that i have on my list and i'm giving that a super quick step also going in to add my onions and now adding the crayfish okay guys i am giving that a quick stay i'm gonna cover and let it simmer on medium low heat for about 15 minutes and i just also added a pinch of salt to taste don't go adding too much salt if not you're going to end up with salty soup that's the worst thing you want for your soup and after that i'm just adding my fish and my bitter leaf i loved the bitter leaf in the soup guys it was so amazingly nice just take the soup to a whole new level i'm going to cover that again and let it simmer for a few minutes and this is how it's looking now guys i made this soup super thick if you don't want it thick make sure you add more water or your stock whichever you prefer so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet it's super free you're not going to pay anything for it and also guys don't forget to watch how i instructed my palm fruit in my previous video and i explained all the benefits of the palm fruit itself the soup the oils you know and guys i like to skim off the oil uh, whenever i make the palm soup i don't 
want to keep all the oil on top of it because it's just too much but that is entirely up to you other people like to see the oil on top of it as you make the soup look beautiful you can serve this with your swallows or even with rice and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like share and comment bye bye